All right, here it is, 7.18. Time now for our three cents on our feature topic of the day. And today's topic, empowering children and yes. what it looks like to create the space for them to be great. And really the value of empowering our children. Mm -hmm. it, should it, not, it shouldn't just be limited to, to parents and teachers, right? These kids can, uh, you know, uh, get themselves pumped up yeah. a lot of times. Every adult should strive to encourage youth to maximize their imagination so they can discover what impact they can have in society, no matter their age. Right. We can all channel our inner Whitney Houston, right? <laughs> the greatest love of all. Her lyrics are, I believe children are our future. Yes. Teach them well and let, let them lead the way. Lead I know, right? We're like, does anyone have a microphone around? We can't even attempt to <laughs> no way. Uh, but before we get into our three cents on all of this, Hey. <laughs> we want to share the story of an eight-year-old girl in Massachusetts who is now making headlines as an inspiring entrepreneur. Her name is Katrina K Kincaid. She sits down with her to find out what so, motivated her. Yeah, Katrina Kincaid is uh, sitting down with this eight-year-old now to find out what motivated her to step outside of just being a regular kid. What were you doing at age eight? Having, like, something like a whole, a whole full-on business is... It's life changing. Probably not building a pillow empire like Isis McFadden. I wanted to start the business because I wanted kids like me, kids like me and kids and kids of color and just kids in general to feel welcomed and like where they are is where they're meant to be. At age five, she attended her first protest and told her parents she wanted to write a book about her experience. Oh. She felt like royalty, which started the company Little Regalia. It felt like I was doing something that was going to benefit the world. Saying it's just showing enough to go to the, you know, her first protest, uh, 2020 is a lot happening, a lot of questions that she had, um, and we said, you know, let's, let's, let's go. The book is still being written, but based on their doodles, the McFaddens wanted to make something that kids could have to believe in and inspire themselves. Maybe easier to see yourself in the pillow with no facial features. I hope they have fun with the pillows. I hope they get to do a bunch of things with the pillows. But most importantly to me, I hope the, they can actually like see themselves in the pillows. Their home is currently the distribution center. The pillows are sold online and in two Boston bookstores. At one, they're almost sold out. It makes me feel like oh, what, what I did really benefited people, more people than just me. Yeah. Hearing that they're almost all sold out, it's exciting. Because you never know who needs it. You never know. I think it's one thing that we know is that it's bigger than us. I love that idea. Awesome. And obviously mm -hmm. others did too. It's taking off. Yeah. Right. And uh, what a qu quite the young entrepreneur Seriously. she is. Seriously. I love it. To think about that at age of eight, uh, obviously means she's surrounded by a lot of support. Right. Uh, people who really want to like help her do well. Um, but, you know, the, the idea of it taking off doesn't surprise me. I think people like to feel inspired. Uh, they like the, the idea of little regalia. Yeah, <laughs> right? I think it's... The it's, royalty. We need to, when we tell our kids to spread their wings and fly, mm -hmm. it needs to be more than just a motto. Yeah. Like, just go out there and do what inspires you, what you think is something that you're very good at. And then as the parent, your role is to support that yeah. the best way you can. This parent was like, this is a great idea. Yeah. And she's passionate about it. I'm going to stick with her passions. Mm -hmm. Parents need to do that. It's so easy to say no when your kid comes up to you with an idea. Right. Oh, yeah. that's going to, we don't have time for that. Like, just help them build their foundation right. and their yeah. dreams and spread their wings the real way. And it's good to hear that because, you know, a lot of times we get caught up in this like, oh, we got to go to gymnastics. Now we got to right. go to this and that and this and that. Mm -hmm. So you just get busy and right. then you don't think about, wait, is there time for to be creative? <laughs> are yeah. you giving yeah. them time to really like think and dream and think about what they enjoy truly? Or are we forcing like a bunch of activities on right. them? You don't know. Sometimes I mean, they're activities that Mom and dad used to yes. do. Like, <laughs> well, I was a baseball or player, son. You must be. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. let the kids do what they want to do, and that, yeah. th then that passion will come from it. Mm -hmm. She was having a good time, too. She was, like, so stoked on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, that's perfect. Like, that's what you want is for your kid that young to be passionate about something, to see their success paying off. And to know that, I mean, she's doing that herself. Like, she's yeah. the idea behind it. Yeah. And yeah. it's because she had this freedom to create. Yeah. The freedom to think about things. Do you things. remember those days as, as a kid where you had no responsibilities? Yeah. The rose covered You were glasses. allowed to dream <laughs> about when I get older, uh -huh. I want to. I was going right. to be a magician. Right? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, hey, well, I still can. Not. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can start the way now. you make the weather is magic. That's right. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. can I say? I'll have a Vegas residency <laughs> in <Yeah>. days. <laughs> but really, like, to be able to daydream and yeah. Like, yeah. to have give them that space where it's okay to, right. I think is so cool. I mean, they, this is their chance, right, when they're young. Yeah. To really think of all everyone's the an artist give yeah. them that foundation so that they can build upon their dreams and mm -hmm. and make a difference in our society someday mm -hmm. you never know what that kid's gonna be members. up to yeah <laughs> right? have the next big idea an entrepreneur that's right <laughs>